Well, good afternoon. My name's Martin Hyde. I'm a parent. I'm a taxpayer. I'm also running for Congress. You just cut out two thirds of my speech, but I'll go anyway. They call this part of the meeting the hearing of citizens, but some of the current board aren't listening. Who can forget board member Jane Goodwin's famous, we don't need any more citizens input. Please, no personal attacks. That's not personal, that's a statement of fact. Or Shirley Brown's scandalous assertion that parents do not have the no encompassing right remarks. to raise their child. We all have to take some responsibility. I'm going to ask you one time, please don't make personal remarks. I know those are quotes that have been taken out of context, and we're asking you not to bring those personal remarks to the board. The truth. But you can't ahead. handle the truth. Three minutes now, right? Yes. So, we all have to take some responsibility for the woke virus that is running amok in our schools. We all knew that many professors in our colleges were communist sympathisers for the past 50 years, but we ignored them as harmless cranks. The elbow patch jacket types gradually infiltrated our K through 12 system and our school boards to bring us to the leftist nightmare that we see today. Participation trophies in place of excellence, indoctrination as opposed to education, all designed to cre create a woke nirvana, which is a nightmare for those of us who are awake as opposed to woke. Wokeness is a terrible disease, with the irony that it is the opposite of inclusive. It promotes singular thought with the sanction of being cancelled, <laughs> unbelievable, um, for those that don't follow the dictated policy. Cubans are presently on their streets, risking their lives, fighting to be freed from the nightmare of 62 years of socialist control. No Meanwhile, plan. school boards across our nation seek to impose socialist control after 245 years of freedom. What school boards and teachers unions in this country need to know is that the time when we parents and citizens were passive to your attempted cultural coup are over. <laughs> the power in this county and in this nation rests with the people, not with you. You serve us not the other way round. You have loco parentis, not full parenting authority. Loco parentis means you have temporary guardianship, not that you have to act like loco parents. In a way, I hope you're daft enough to try to challenge our governor on the mask ordinance, as he'll have you removed immediately, whereas we will otherwise have to wait until this time next year to remove you at the ballot box. Simply put, for the woke among you, it is over as we the people are awake now, and we are not going to put up with this anti-American propaganda anymore! <laughs>